Good afternoon. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, pleasantly surprised. Uh, I'm pleasantly, uh, pleasantly surprised to see all of you are still awake. I, I don't know how you do it, but I got to congratulate you. I'll try to. It's a bad dream. I'm. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, Freddie the Slasher's number one again. So here, I'm back. Uh, I'm timing myself this time, Karen. I think you cheated me the last time, you know, so I'm just going to keep track here and make sure that we're being honest here. Okay, I got it. Yeah, 441. Okay, uh, real quickly here, just an update. Uh, the Idaho Ski Areas Association, I think we can speak uh, quite comfortably from Schweitzer, Lookout, Sun Valley, Bogus, Brundage. We had a, we had a heck of a year as an industry. Uh, either records, all of our up years. Uh, I think Bogus had the second best. Lookout had its best. We had our best. Uh, Schweitzer had, had a, uh, a very good year. Uh, so uh, nothing but success. And of course, it's all uh, attributed to the grant money that you funded us with last year. So we want to be twice as successful. So we're going to come and ask for twice the money this year. Uh, very quickly, we worked closely with the ITC this year on the Speedy campaign. I'd like to thank Karen and uh, uh, Josh uh, with uh, uh, Dre Cooper on that. Uh, I, I think it was a good effort on our part. I uh, didn't have quite the success we had hoped, but uh, we're not giving up on that program. Uh, when you don't have a lot of money to deal with, you're looking for creative, innovative ways uh, to address the market, and we're going up against some real hitters that are well-financed, ski Utah, Colorado, and uh, Tahoe. So uh, I, I think that the ability to work together was a big plus for us. Uh, also with the NASDA, as I mentioned earlier, uh, again, we're all involved in that, and I think that was a, a big success for us. Um, we're kind of uh, looking at uh, new things here. We just finished up a, a meeting, uh, Tom and I and, and, and Josh and Jared, uh, talking about our Idaho Ski Area Association meeting in June, and uh, Tom has put together our grant, which you have. We're going to go back, discuss with the board with a clean sheet of paper uh, what they want, also, Josh is planning on participating with us. We invited Mitch, who's unavailable. He'll be on vacation. And we're planning on getting together, hopefully, with Karen and uh, Mitch when uh, we get back to finalize our grant. Uh, what we're trying to do is work cooperatively here, John. I think you know me pretty well, and, and we can have success if we work together. We're not going to get anywhere if we don't. So uh, that's our commitment to you. I'll let Tom take it over for the uh, rest of the details on this. And uh, that's the shortest I've ever spoken in my entire life three minutes. Thank you. Thanks, Rick. Uh, first off, thank you very much for, the uh, for working with us. Really, from where we were three or four years ago to where we are today is tremendously different. And it really takes a, it, it's a team effort. And given the resources are so limited, from the mountains really operating as silos, we're still trying to break that down of where the communication between each other isn't all that great, given the, the spread of geography in our state. But really, it, the key started in Boise for us of, of working collaboratively with the Travel Council, with the Idaho Tourism Office, and getting the mountains that reach outside of our region, outside of really within the state, to work together more collaboratively. We're still trying to get the Sun Havens and the Balds of the mountain or the world involved and more engaged. Pomerel, um, that's a process in motion. And I, I guess fundamentally, we, we've really addressed what you have funded. And I think that you funded our fundamental principles, which is one, we needed a website, which we did last, we, our numbers were double what they were the year before, and we're looking for a continuation of that. We actually are going to fund an entire web, website redo within what we've, we've asked for. Um, we need to integrate with more social media, more real-time deals where people are visiting our website, so we need to do a good job on that. Within PR, we've asked for that. We believe in PR, but maybe where the shift of is a little bit more social media, a little bit less traditional PR. We still have got to figure that out, as Rick talked about with our blank piece of paper at our meeting in June. But we want to do that very collaboratively with Drake Cooper, with the state tourism office, and make our dollars go as far as we possibly can. So website remains a part of it. Another thing that you've addressed through the, the Lumpkin family thing is the video assets that we have as a state. So we are continuing our third year with peak video, uh, video asset, HD quality video that every ski resort systemically is, is covered in the state of Idaho. So that continues, which is on our website, which we make available to the state. It's on this, the uh, visitidaho.winter um, site. So it's, it's, again, very collaboratively. And the, um, the final part is we're communicating in a proactive manner, too, not just in earned media, but not 
we're not uh, necessarily focused on paid media, but, but more of proactive delivery of known skiers. So that's a big part of our continuation of the email newsletter. Um, all of these things are not to say that they're perfect. We, we continue to take a look at them every single year, tweak them, try to make the improvements, collaborate everywhere we can. So that, in a nutshell, is what we're looking for to continue and uh, answer any questions you may have. Uh, questions for Tom. Renee? Mr. Chairman, Tom, um, looking over your application online, I see that there are several different elements broken down. Three recommendations made in the 2009 grant to incorporate everything into one marketing element. Can I take that into consideration before the final application? Okay. Um, definitely need to break those down into the subcategories, but just yeah, for what we went through, yes. Thank you. And then um, also just a note to request funding through the grant as priority request after funding is awarded versus um, the license plate funding. The yes. Grant funding takes priority okay. for requests. I, I think when we do the first, I'll be in direct communication with you so we get started in the right foot when you get go. I'm still learning all the grant administration duties, so. Anything else there? Well, yes. Um, <laughs> Francis. <I do>. Mm -hmm. <laughs> On behalf of the Travel Council, we would like to uh, present the Idaho Ski Area Association with the Council Choice Award in the multi-region category for the association's website and all right. the work incorporated with that. So please, wear this proudly during right. the conference. <laughs> I haven't had a blue ribbon for a long time, so. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Any other okay. questions? Uh, I don't believe so at this point. All right. Thanks. Good job. Thank you very much.